What is up everybody? It's your man Lukey and I'm back with another review. We're back to the old setup. The bed is not made. A bunch of stuff's on my bed. This is a really quick one because I just did a review based off of Mike Fernandez's recommendations and then we got some insight from longtime viewer of the channel. So what are my takeaways? One, for someone that doesn't live in San Francisco, it is a very long drive. No matter how you slice it, it's about 20 minutes to the freeway. So add 20 minutes to the total distance to get to San Francisco. What is Lincoln Park? Well, a couple of things that you should know off the bat. It does have a parking lot. I did get a divot tool. They did take great care of me. The conditions are okay at best. It's more of like a public park or a public field. The rooting of the course feels as though it was built in different stages. So there's different concepts. I can definitely see how a player like Johnny Miller grew up possibly playing it. So a lot of it is about where you position the ball. It's not very long, but you get absolutely no roll. And the greens are incredibly hard and firm. And by hard, I mean they repel the ball off which I felt was kind of strange because normally on such a narrow and tight golf course they would have a maybe more forgiving green to compensate for that. And what it feels like is it's the classic trope of the short golf course that needs to prove that it's a hard golf course and there's a lot of things that are designed within it. Do I find it fun? Not particularly off my first impression but I feel like if you lived close to it and or have a group of friends that like playing it, this is the type of golf course where you can create a lot of memories for now and the future at a place like this because the holes don't initially stand out, but they're challenging and you can create memories through the play of the course. So, Lincoln Park is about... 30 to $50, I think a little cheaper if you're an SF resident, so it's in that range. And the golf carts, if you wanted a golf cart, basically are really expensive at this course, so you probably shouldn't get a golf cart unless you really, really need one. And if you really need a golf cart, this is probably not the course to play. As well as, I'd take 15 to 20 balls, because the minute they go out, as you will see in the vlog, of the tree line it's very easy to lose a golf ball here so it just focus on that and if you want to it maybe if you don't like hitting driver a lot this might be a good course for you since you could probably play the whole course without hitting driver so this is the parking lot and in san francisco that's a very big deal because parking's an issue so they do have a parking lot this is the divot tool i was given for free when playing the course. That's the putting green that you're looking forward, and this is the first hole. To the left, the trees block a road, and then it slightly goes to the right, dog leg right. So, my game is in a bad place right now, so the, the vlogging of my game isn't gonna be very good. It just went out to the right, hit a hybrid. That's kind of a look at the trees and all that stuff. Went at the hole, over the trees, and this is some of the stuff you can see and came up just a tad bit short misread the chip which has been a constant theme lately and made that second hole short par four you can kind of see how people walk along the course that was a three iron the fairway and the rough are kind of the same so you're definitely not going to get a lot of run at this course, you maybe you could, but at this current time, my three iron was not running out. I was left with about a hundred yard shot up this hill. Hit a pretty good wedge, and this is some of my frustrations with this course, was I just didn't have course knowledge. So I hit this shot. It looks like a decent enough opportunity at birdie hit a decent putt it doesn't turn enough i think i had it on the right line but it just goes all the way down the hill and that's a three putt so these greens are really hard and firm so the third hole is very tricky to find you have to walk all the way through this trail 
towards the ocean and actually cross this street right here and once you cross this street you take a right following the third hole signage and then you go down this trail which has a view of the Golden Gate Bridge might I add and it takes you to the hole at the very end of the trail which is the third hole so not the most uh, user-friendly routing four iron in my hand and story of the day just kind of looked up ran out a little bit more than I thought it's a cool looking shot and 60 degree wedge it really felt good in this course a lot of what it's about is about which direction the wind is blowing and that shot either was hit too well or it just stuck because it, typically everything ran out missed it on the low side fourth hole downhill um, downhill par four and it has some elements these next two holes have elements of kind of that early 20s early 30s McKen Dr. McKenzie design with those bunkers that kind of could have trench warfare that someone could protect themselves. Kind of a staple of the early municipal golf course from that era. Hitting into this, it looks like everything goes from left to right, and I was right, it goes to the ocean, and I just didn't pack enough of a punch on that shot. This is the way this hole slopes, so it just slopes all the way down. If you miss to the right, it's going to be a lot of trouble because it's basically going to be unfindable balls. Hit this wedge there, and as you can see in the background, people just freely walk around the course, and I made that for my uh, up and down. Once again, if you look to your right, you can actually see how cars are in your vantage point on this course. So if you don't feel comfortable with that, that needs to be something that you need to be aware of. This is one of my worst shots I've ever hit. I hit two of my worst shots ever vlogging, and that was one of them. The other one is on the back nine. It's a bunker shot. But basically, wasn't super enjoying this course. I was just kind of rushing through it because um, San Francisco is kind of a stressful place to be. I hit a really good chip there, and it just didn't. It didn't stop. You know, when the wind's blowing, when the wind's blowing towards the hole. It was hard to get these balls to stop. And then that was into the wind and it came up short. So now the routing of this course, after you play three, four, and five, you go by this big monument and you're actually supposed to go the other way. So I took a roundabout way to it. And then you run into this hole, which is a dog leg right drivable hole. Didn't really understand the concept of the hole was hoping to hit a slice, pulled the heck out of the ball, and here's an idea of what you're looking at, right? If that's from the green side. And I had, as you can see, the ball color changed, and that's because I hit my ball out of bounds. I could not find my ball, no clue where the ball went, and that was a 54 degree wedge, and I just flew it. Here is a chip, and once again, it's off to the races. And it's just, I don't know, frustrating, frustrating. It's a good test of golf, and that kind of sums up my feelings on this round. You look out here, there's the avenues, which is uh, a really nice part of San Francisco, a fairly wealthy, actually a very wealthy section of San Francisco. And then that leads into this short par four but it's all about position and you can't really hit it into the street so hit a four iron I actually demoted myself for this shot moved myself up to the front tee box the white tees because of how bad i played the last hole had a nine iron into this and from the top of the hill down to here my nine iron ran from the front of the green all the way to there and that's about probably one of the first well-played holes that I've played here. This is a shame you won't see it because I didn't get the tripod up high enough. But I came so close to a hole-in-one on this hole. I hit it. It was right in line. And you're going to see the reaction. It's a downhill shot. It goes right into the parking lot. And it runs right by the hole. And you see my knuckle tense. Boom. I thought it was going in. I was watching it. 
and it actually ran over the green. And that's kind of frustrating because I felt like I hit a really good shot and I didn't get rewarded. So once again, that was wind downwind. Now into the wind, you have to remember that you can be aggressive and it's just psychologically hard if you've never played this course to realize that. But um, this was uh, probably one of my best putts of the day to salvage par. And if you look, that's the cityscape. So what's really cool about Lincoln is it's really in the community. So the ninth hole, just a plain Jane uphill par four. Moved the ball, got it out a little bit and I had about a seven iron. And this was a very frustrating shot because I hit this about as good as I can hit it. Hit it right on line where I wanted it. it carries just onto that front of the green and I'm thinking, okay, I'm gonna have a great opportunity for a birdie or something. And this is where it ends up. And kind of just, I don't know. It's just disheartening. So thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate anyone that watches the videos, anyone that hits the subscribe button, likes, shares, and gives it to your friends and stuff. It really means a lot. This is a passion project. This is something that I've always wanted other people to do, and I'm taking the initiative to try it. So any grassroots support or anyone sharing the videos or offering comments or ideas really means a lot, and I'll take those to heart.